Okay, so what I'm gonna show you now is basically uh, how to edit skin. You know, kind of makeup esque type stuff. If you're familiar with that, or if you're a girl, you know, uh, you often add makeup in real life. You can just do it a lot easier now. You know, with uh, Photoshop. So, you know, it's just an easy kind of quick thing to make your complexion look good. So, on our last tutorial on the DVD, and once you know, once again, once all of this stuff is edited. This will be saved as a template, so you can actually go through, you know, all of these uh, the presets and the stuff that I did in this edit and kind of mess with it a little bit. So um, let's go ahead and work on the skin complexion. So um, here's what I'm going to do. First thing I like to do is I take the background, the original photo, and uh, what I do is I duplicate it so that I have a copy. You know, so what I, I do is I, I have the original right here. You know, uh, I could even rename it. You know, if we wanted to, um, to uh, eh, I won't even mess with that. Let's just call it. Let's just leave it as background. So, you know, uh, what we got is the background. It's locked in, so we're good. If I mess anything up, I can always come back. You know, and bring back the original. Maybe duplicate that again. So, uh, it's good to have that kind of you know uh, versatility. You can always hit Control Z and undo a lot of your your steps that you mess up. You know, as long as you save it. Uh, me personally, I have a. Uh, I have Control S, which is a uh, you know save command tattooed on my arm, so I never forget. So you know, constantly in this industry, you never know if electric goes out. So I definitely encourage you, you know, every two seconds to hit Control S, like a nervous kind of thing, just to be safe and um, you know that way, in case anything happens, your your latest you know edits will, will be saved. Some computers even have that kind of uh, auto breakdown. Like I have a lot of video. Editing software that'll do that for me automatically. It'll have kind of a backup. So, um, yeah, this is taking a little longer because we're doing full resolution. If you look down here, you'll see the document. You know, it says 51.3 megabytes to 103. That basically means we're operating, you know, editing a massive, massive photo. You know, if you do photos in camera raw, it's going to be huge. It's going to be up there in the 3,000 by, you know, whatever percentages. So, you know, right now up here, you'll see 16.3. It's a good little uh, note to know what you're actually looking at, as opposed to if I, I went to actual pickle, pixels, it would be uh, you know zoomed in quite a bit. Um, but the whole point of having you know such a huge you know uh, file for a photo is that you know it saves all the details in, in every you know regard possible, um, as far as like the you know the most uh, detailed portions of the human face, skin and hair and stuff like that. So. Let's get started here. Um, I'm gonna go to view actual pixels. You're gonna see what it, it is as far as actual pixels. You know this because this is just kind of fit to the screen. So actual pixels, boom. That's his chest. It's really close. So you know we can zoom up. I got a little scroll bar on my mouse. I can do that. Here's a quick little key. You know, a little tip for you. If you hold the space bar, you can actually get this hand that pops up and then just kind of drag places. It's kind of convenient. Just pop the space bar. You know, move it around. You know, especially when you have a heavy workload. So, you know, um, let's go ahead and start editing this face. Um, so we got our backup just in case. We got this. Um, there's two major things you use in editing skin. You know, uh, you got the uh, blur tool right here, which I use quite a bit. Um, you know, it's it's uh, good to kind of manually scrub out some things. You know, it's hard to tell sometimes, but uh, you know, once once you uh, tell the difference it gets kind of it gets rid of that you know basic uh you know certain things kind of makes it a little less apparent if you notice that kind of uh freckle or whatever that is it kind of disappears a little bit so that's one big way to edit you know uh skin another way is this clone tool it's right here you hit s you know s will pop it up and basically what it is is you know you take a portion of the skin and you apply it somewhere else so you know uh what i can do is i'll hold alt and I'll select this portion, you know, because it's a uh, this portion because it's kind of a smooth, nice tone without any uh, blemishes and stuff. So I'm gonna hold Alt, that little arrow thing will pop up. I'm gonna click that. So now it's selecting that. So now what I'm gonna do is cover up this portion right here. There's kind of a little, uh, you know, I don't know what that is, but um, up here, if you notice opacity, you can actually turn it down a little bit. So it's almost like a little kind of mask or not mascara, but like a little foundation type thing. You you could do. 100% you know and, and that that'll just straight up decimate your photo like that so what I suggest is keep it low you know and uh almost like a makeup artist you know hit alt 
and then we'll just kind of easily just a little bit kind of just almost like you would do in your makeup kit you know what I'm talking about so you know that's already disappeared quite a bit so you know you got to be careful as far as tone this this photo with the lighting is as far as uh how his place lit up his face quite a bit so you know we're not having too much problems um with that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of select things kind of get out some of these these uh portions you know uh just lightly you know kind of got rid of that um and it's always I always found it's kind of good to go with uh the flow of the face like notice how I'm going down the nose ridge um you know kind of just adds like a uh, unspoken kind of symmetry to it so um you know we got that see so he's kind of on his forehead got a little bit of a problem so that's gone and once again I'm just quick at this because I've, I've done it so much but you know if, if you notice I'm hitting alt boom and then you know approaching the, the portions that are a little messed up so right now I mean his, his face isn't too bad but we're already you know cleaning it up quite a bit um, you know facial hair is kind of you know hard to uh, make look good I, I can't rock a beard you know so um there we go we got rid of a lot of blemishes you can get really crazy you know there's there's a couple small portions you might wanna just lighten up a little bit um, This guy needs to learn how to shave better. Um, yeah, just a little bit. You know, you don't want to get rid of too many, uh, too much of this, you know, natural kind of uh, things. You can if you want to. Um, but some, some, you know, wrinkles and skin and, and stuff like that, you know, adds a little characteristic. So be careful as how much you use. There's a trick, you know, there, there's also a quicker way you can uh, do this. There's a, a couple plugins that make your skin uh kind of smoother type stuff you just add it in it kind of makes you look like a cartoon if you use too much but you know it's good to have that kind of thing it's called, actually a program called noiseware um so you know I, I would suggest you guys check that out i'm not quite sure which program does that but it's kind of a click of a button you know it smooths the skin you can kind of combine it so you know it's pretty cool but um here's how you do it manually with just factory default so what we're gonna do is uh you know, we did the clone tool, covered up all that stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit R, you know, bring up the blur tool instead of S, you know, this clone tool where we were kind of pa painting over that stuff. So we're going to go to R, blur tool, and now we're just kind of smooth the skin out a little bit in certain parts. You want to keep, uh, you know, like sharpness, stuff like that around his eyes, certain parts, you know, his beard will probably, should probably keep some of that tone. So, you know, I'm kind of blurring out some of the stuff, smoothing his skin out. Let's not mess with the eyes because we, we already did that template earlier right here you know watch that DVD if you haven't it's, it's pretty interesting to uh, you know mess with his overall you know eye color so okay we're bl blurring it out you know we got background selected blurring out all this stuff and uh, if you edited this you know or shot this in camera raw you know you're gonna have a lot more stuff to edit as far as like pixels and the size of it so you know uh, for this tutorial I'm doing it in you know, I'm editing these in, in just a standard JPEG, you know, with, with uh, Photoshop. I just bought a uh, Canon T2i, and unfortunately, the uh, updates for Photoshop do not support that kind of camera raw. But I did find a way to fix that. They actually have some uh, templates or uh, some updates, you know, on their uh, website as far as, you know, updating it for use with the Canon T2i. So if you've had problems with that, just find the updated bridge uh, support and you should be fine so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna kinda blur out his, his beard a little bit I'm not a fan of beards I gotta say but you know, I'm kinda keeping some of the texture there but smoothing out some of the sides so you know once again we're still kinda blurring out the skin kinda making it a little more smooth so you know so it doesn't look haggard um, but be careful not to, you know, blur out the eyes. You want to keep that kind of texture. So um, once you get this kind of blurred out, you know, uh, the portions, you know, of, of the skin that you want, you can also do, you know, you can go back to the S clone tool, you know, which I hit S, it pops up, hold alt, and then that will select your, your portion. And you could even, you know, if you wanted to give him a little makeup kind of thing, and, and I'm getting a little of his hair there because I'm going too far, but, uh, you know, you can kind of lighten up certain, certain portions. 
um, just kind of weird thing on his cheek. Let's go ahead and I'm just smoothing that out. You know, you can notice start some of the, the brush now is kind of noticeable, you know, with lines. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that R tool, you know, the blur, and it's going to kind of blend it a little bit more. So, you know, damn, I keep getting that hair. Okay, so his cheek's looking a little bit better. You know, uh, so I'm going to blur that. And, you know, he's got a smooth chest. Now, this all comes into play, you know, the smoother this is, um, the better it's going to look when you boost up some gain, you know, and some, uh, some, some contrast, you know, in, in brightness and stuff like that. It's going to look a lot smoother than it would have if, if you didn't, you know, affect it. So right now, I, I don't see any blemishes anymore. We've fixed that up pretty quickly. Smoothed the skin out, you know, added a little light stuff with the clone tool. You know, if, if we really wanted to, you know, we, we could do a little more makeup with his eyes. And, and uh, for instance, I'll, I'll just select a brush, kind of a standard, you know, like a square. <coughs> so we got that. I'm going to turn the opacity down to 14. And I'm going to use hard mix. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pick black, right? See how hardcore this is. See, that's a little hardcore, you know. I, I don't know if this was a goth band, so... I'll kind of be easy with it so you know let's do opacity six we got our brush at 43 you know that's just up to you how big you want to go with your brush and then I have hard mix so what what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of accentuate you know his his darkness like the shadow under his eyes a little bit so if you notice there we're kind of getting already darker you know uh, with that you want to be a little careful with that but I'm going for kind of a dramatic look so what we'll do is uh, you know kind of hit lay it on heavy and uh, you know, if you notice the the, the brush strokes in the, the camera, uh, you want to be a little careful with that. Like you'll notice visibly, you know, uh, sometimes that you know you you got you notice that a brush, was, you know, like right here, you can see the lines. You don't want to be doing that. So be wary of that kind of stuff. You know, all in moderation. And then um, you know, it wouldn't hurt to come around later with the R tool. You know, the the blur. It kind of just blur out underneath it so you get rid of some of those lines it kind of just blends in a little bit better so you know he's looking a lot more goth I guess I, I he's you know this band was not goth so we'll see what they think of this but you know it's already looking a bit more dramatic you know um, that's kind of a tutorial on how to fix your skin you know complexion and you know a little bit of makeup edit so you know once you do the brightness contrast because this is all still unedited this is all natural lighting you know, what you're going to get now is, is just straight up, you know, kind of that smooth skin tone um, as opposed to how it was before where it was, it was kind of darker, you know, uh, more, you know, it wasn't as smooth. A lot of blemishes would be popping out when you push your contrast up to that level. So, you know, we'll mess with that, you know, this contrast later in the DVD. And once again, you know, on this, this DVD, I'll have a uh, template of all this stuff so you can mess with it you know, go through the eyes and kind of see what I did so that you can get a grasp of, uh, you know, just concepts to, to make your photos look better.